Focus is Warframe's attempt at a skill tree system, except you can end up with everything so choices don't actually matter. Fantastic! But this means that also you're going to need an absolute ton of focus to be able to obtain all these skills. It takes about as long as me uploading a YouTube video. But luckily of course this is the Warframe community and we are nothing if not a min-maxing community, ready to forego normal lives to squeeze a tiny bit of extra efficiency out of our game that we love to hate and hate to love, even though we spend all of our frickin' time playing it. So today, we're gonna go through focus, what it is, what it's for, and the most efficient methods to farm it. Don't worry, there'll be a farm for everyone. I'm gonna start this video by explaining how focus works, how XP distribution works, and extra ways to get that little bit of extra XP. If you're already set up and understand all these mechanics and information, feel free to skip to the time on screen. To unlock focus, one must first complete the second dream as well as the war within quest lines. Don't worry, I'll avoid all spoilers for storyline based things within this video. Once you have completed the second dream, you are given the decision to decide what skill tree you want to start with. There are a total of 5 skill trees, all with a different 10 abilities within. Each skill tree has a different style of focus. Deciding what one you want to farm is hard, but I'll give you what I believe is best for the generalized casual play from best to worst. In my opinion, best to worst goes Zenerik, Naramon, Madurai, Vazarin, and Anaru. Zenerik has a focus on energy and obtaining more of it, which makes casual play much more fun, while Naramon has a very strong focus on melee, combo counters, and making melee more fun and easy. These two are the best for casual play in my opinion, and most people that I know run these day to day, while I personally run Zenerik majority of the time. For the other focus trees, we have Majurai, which defining factor is Void Strike, which is used for Eidolon hunting, which I'll talk about later. Vazarin, on the other hand, has a focus of defending objectives and keeping people alive. And lastly, Anaru's main ability is Anaru Wisp, which is also crucial for Eidolon hunting. However, outside of that, Anaru is not commonly used. From that info, hopefully you can kind of make a small decision on what skill tree to start off with. However, you can end up unlocking and farming all of them, so not to worry if you change your mind later. But now you have decided what skill tree you're working on and what you want to go for, we now need to know how gaining focus seems to work. For that, we need to realize that focus earned is based on the amount of XP that a piece of gear with our lens on it earns. This means things like double XP weekends, affinity blesses, Naramon spike, which is a Naramon skill, will also all impact the amount of focus that you obtain. As a quick side point of this, DE has set a daily cap for focus within Warframe, which starts at 250,000 per day at MR0 and adds 5,000 per MR rank as you go up. So at MR30, you can farm roughly 400,000 a day, while if you are still in the middle game at about MR15, you can expect about 325,000 per day. So, the way that focus is earned means that what we decide to put our lenses on is based on what will gain the most experience. And I'm sure a fair few people understand how earning XP works, but just so everyone watching does understand, here is a quick graph that I just yoinked from the wiki to give you a base understanding. So looking at this, there are two main ways that you could go about farming it. The first, and the way that I recommend, is your frame. A DPS frame would be much preferred, and it is given 100% of XP on any kills that you get with your frame. And you can farm focus very, very quickly with something like a Mesa or a Saren. However, the other way, which is also not a bad idea, is putting a lens on your melee. A melee is what most people use to actively go around killing everything, and as such is getting 50% of that XP every kill but will also get 25% of your teammates kills as well. Remember you can always equip lenses on everything in the end, but not everyone has access to that amount. To obtain lenses, the best way to acquire them is by doing bounties in open worlds. My personal suggestion is Cetus. These lenses when given out will have a specific skill tree that they relate to. This will determine what skill tree will earn focus if you end up equipping that lens. Make sure to have a look at the drop tables for the bounties and find the bounty that is dropping the lens that you would like to farm for. Once you get what you need, you can install the lens on any max rank piece of gear. You can see on screen myself installing a lens on my Cronin Prime. However, if you are a min maxer like many Warframe players out there, there is more to be done. You can actually upgrade lenses and that allows them to give more focus. The normal focus lens converts 1.25% of your XP gained into focus. 
However, if you wish to make that a higher amount, there are upgraded lenses. These include the greater lens, which requires four lens of the type that you want to upgrade, as well as the blueprint, which can be purchased from the market with credits. This lens will give you 1.75% of XP turned into focus. You can upgrade this further if you wish to turn it into an Eidolon lens, which requires one greater lens of the type that you want, and a blueprint which can be farmed from Cetus Bounties. This will end up converting 2.25% of XP into focus. And there is one final upgrade if you wish to make that step, and that's a Lua lens. This lens requires one of the Eidolon lens of the type that you want, and a blueprint which can be obtained from Lua Disruption on Rotation C. This lens does 3.25% of XP turned into focus. Now, no matter which one you decide, all of them will make progress to your focus, so do not be stressed if you don't have the time to farm one of these lenses. I personally max all of my focus tree entirely with just a greater lens. But I guess now that we know how lenses work and how the skill tree works, we should probably finally have a look into the actual farms and their locations. There are two main ways to farm focus, with a third efficient way that takes a little bit more work to get into. But let's start with the main two. Just a quick little side point, when you have a lens equipped, occasionally these yellow orbs will spawn that have a waypoint attached to them. If you pick these up, you are given a focus booster that lasts for 45 seconds. So while doing any of these farms, if you see one of these, make sure to get it as quickly as possible so you can make those extra gains. The first main farm, and potentially the main way that most of you may have heard before, is running ESO. ESO, or Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, is a very decent way to farm focus for a few reasons. The first is that it's extraordinarily easy. Not only will it not take much effort to farm focus, but you will also easily find teammates that will also speed up the progress that you make farming focus. This is the main reason I did suggest using a DPS frame as your lens gear, as running something like Saren with a lens in ESO is guaranteed to net you a lot of focus in a decent amount of time. And because ESO is such a popular XP farm, you will find lots of people running it and very often find squads. The second farm, which is more efficient but is a little bit harder to do, is Adaro. Now I have made a video in the past explaining how Adaro and how this XP farm works, so I'm not going to go into absolutely crazy detail. But the general gist is using Equinox with a good duration and good range to put all the enemies to sleep before they see you, and then quickly meleeing them all to death. Since enemies are unalerted, you get stealth bonuses up to a 5 times XP at maximum. Giving focus is based on this XP, it's absolutely incredible. I will place a link to my Adara guide in the description as well as a link to the Equinox build that I'm placing on your screen now. While running this, I recommend running a lens on both your frame and your melee to make sure that you're getting all that juicy focus instead of just the 50% from one of them. If you are making sure to grab the yellow focus boosters as they appear, while also making sure to never alert enemies, you can expect a mass amount of focus from this. On average, I would get about 80 to 100,000 focus per run, which took me about 3 minutes. And this was before Affinity Blessers were even in the game. That makes it even stronger. This farm does take more gear, more skill and more practice. However, it makes up for that by being way more efficient over time. You can max your daily focus in no time. And lastly, that extra farm that I mentioned earlier is fantastic for a couple of reasons. The first is that none of your focus gained from it are impacted by the daily cap set by DE, meaning you can do as much of this farm as you want to in one day. The other thing being that it is incredibly more efficient than even Adaro over time, if you get good at it. The downside is that it is heavily gear intensive, requires a metric ton of practice to be very good at, and is not the easiest scene to get into. I am of course talking about Eidolon hunting. While Eidolon hunting, Eidolons will drop these shards. These shards can actually be turned into standing if you go into your focus tree, and on the bottom right, click conversion. As you can see on screen, I have a lot of focus that I could make out of my shards, and I'm very far from being considered an Eidolon runner. These are from occasionally running as a leech with a few friends. Now, Eidolon hunting is a massive can of worms with so many strats and different bits of information out there, so I'm not going to explain it here, otherwise this video would just turn into an Eidolon guide. I will link an Eidolon guide in the description by another YouTuber. I do suggest that even if you aren't the best or confident in your abilities, just joining even a public 1x3 squad and learning some things will be great for you and over time if you put some practice on it you'll end up with absolutely insane focus numbers like these people that I show here. Overall it comes down what is easiest for you. ESO is something that is very accessible and easy to do and during which you will not only get focus but you will also obtain radiant relics as a side reward. Adaro on the other hand as a whole is something that I would use and I personally recommend. It being kind of the middle ground with gear requirements while still being insanely efficient. 
And Eidolons as a whole is something I mainly recommend for people who may be further along in the game and wish to blast through what's left of their focus trees. No matter what you decide though, provided you have a lens equipped, you will passively earn focus. So in the end, if you don't care too much but you simply want to progress over time, just making sure to equip lenses on your commonly used gear will be enough for the meantime. That is where I'm going to leave this video however. I do apologize it has been a while since the last upload. I do have some plans for Warframe content that will allow more regular uploads over the coming month. Either way though, I do hope you enjoyed this video and that it may have helped teach you something that you didn't know about prior. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, come ask them over on the Discord, or feel free to ask me while I'm live over on twitch.tv slash I hope you all have a good one. Robo out.